Okay, I know. So this is his going home up. outfit. It's actually the only one that we brought that was small <laughs> enough. Everything else we brought was bigger. Tabitha and I are so lucky. We've been so blessed. We've come so far together, both professionally and personally. From the time of our first kiss until now has flown by. I would have never expected we wait 18 years no. to have a baby. Everything went by so quickly, that's why we never felt like we were in a rush to have a kid. Right? Before you know it, you're 40 and you're going, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna be 55 trying to throw a football with my kid. It's time let's, to have a baby. Let's, let's do it. We've been together 18 years now and I believe our, our love story is a bit of a fairy tale. It's, uh, I, I thank the Lord every day. Thank you for her in my life. It's, uh, it's, a, it's amazing. Gosh, going back, rewinding. Well, we've been together 18 years, married 14. So about 18 years ago while we were in college, I met him through a friend who was taking a class with him and was just kind of in passing on campus. It was a friend that I knew, a mutual friend, and she introduced me. And I just thought he was like extremely good. Like I was like, God, he's hot, who is he? I didn't say anything, I just kind of shook her hand. She doesn't know, she thinks I didn't recognize her, but I totally did. At the time I was on the dance team. She was kind of hanging out in the cool part of the school and I figured, eh, she probably wouldn't look at me anyway. We were at a party one night. He was there with a bunch of his friends and all of his guy friends were like stacked and buff and in good shape. And at that time, we always looked at guys like that as potential stunters. We're like, oh, they'd be good stunters. Let's recruit them. And we were like, yeah, we don't want to do the cheerleading thing, but we had a boat and jet ski. So my brother and all my friends said, let's go to the lake. They went to the lake, but I didn't go, and I had a boyfriend. Which was the worst, <laughs> but all her friends went. There was always like that little attraction, but nothing ever happened. But I always thought he was good looking. The next day we went to their, to their practice, to the cheerleading practice, and she was there. But I had already kind of started flirting with one of her friends. And I was like, oh, he's a player. He goes through the girls, all the girls gaga over him. And I would never take him seriously. Like, I never really took him that seriously, although I was attracted to him. From the moment I met Tabitha until we had a romantic encounter. That was a good two years of I flirting, not knowing if she liked me, but I always liked her. The encounter was definitely worth waiting for. I remember it well. Well, the first time we just kissed behind this van. We were all walking in the parking lot and he got me behind, um, it was like behind a car and he's like, I just wanna, I just wanna kiss you. And he grabbed me and he just started kissing me. I was like, holy, I'm dating your friend and you have a girlfriend. And then we said, that was really wrong. We shouldn't do that. So I think it was about a month later we broke up with our, you know, her boyfriend and my girlfriend and we went on a ski trip and then we kind of made it so that there was no beds left so we both had to sleep on the floor. Well, well. And then we crawled towards each other and, you know, we did the college thing. <laughs> no, no. For the record, that night on the ski trip when we finally hooked up, he didn't get his way. You know, I mean, we had a little fun, but it wasn't, you know, I made him wait. Yeah, it was two years of getting to know each other, which was really nice. I knew right away when I met Tabitha, it was love at first sight. And I was like, oh, she's really intriguing and really interesting and beautiful, and, and I couldn't take my eyes off her. So Napoleon proposed to me in Italy, and he was really stern about like, we have to go to this place, it's called the Fountain of Trevi, and when we got there, it was a beautiful fountain. Had no idea, honestly, I had no idea all of this was going on. When we got done dinner, we went to the fountain, and we made a wish, because you have to go to the fountain, and you make a wish, and you throw your coins in, and that's the story, he explained the whole story of the fountains. And then, I didn't realize that when we threw the coin in, he put the ring in the water. When he asked me, he's like, what did you wish for? And I told him, and then he's, and I said, what did you wish for? He reached down into the water and he pulled the ring out. And he goes, this is what I wished for. And then he got down on one knee and proposed. And I had no idea, I was so caught off guard. I, I cried, and, and then everybody around at the fountains at Saul began to clap and take pictures, and it was so sweet. And uh, yeah, I'll never forget that. Oh yeah, me and Tabitha had a great wedding. Her mom is a, is a decorator, so of course, the wedding had to be big. Whole bunch of friends, big wedding. It was in Vegas. Look at this. My angel. 
she walked out of the doors of this big place we were having it, and then the gazebo was lined with, lined with white chiffon, and then we had smoke come up, and then she walked through the smoke, and then as soon as she walked through the smoke, we had a dozen doves come up and circle her as she's walking. It was amazing. You have come into this beautiful spring evening here at Emerald Gardens. I remember I cried, and my, all, all the guys that were up there with me, my brother, my sister, and all, all the guys, all, some of my best friends were, hold it together, hold it together, don't cry. There's 300 people looking at you, don't cry. And then I just started welling up a little, and yeah, it was a lot. She was beautiful. Because of all the entertainers we have as friends, everybody was singing, each table would sing a song, people were doing dances, we made our whole wedding party do a big dance, you know, it started off slow and, and, uh, and then moved into this fast song and we all did a routine and people were on the floor in their tuxes, break dancing and spinning on their head and it was, it was, it was quite an event, I think. I really can't imagine having the life that I have without it being with Napoleon because it's literally, you know, we share every minute, we share every dream. We, we grew together. Everything we do is together. We're very rarely apart. It just seems to work really well and I couldn't imagine starting that again with someone else or wanting to start that again with anyone else. Yeah, to this day, I, I look at her and, and I'm in love. And uh, we've been together 18 years now, and it's still there. You know. And now people say, oh, when you have a kid, time's going to fly by, enjoy the moments. I'm thinking, time has already flown by. Yeah. Man, if it goes faster than this, we're, I don't even know what to do. We're going to be retiring soon. Be, yeah. <laughs> my head's going to spin. I haven't even taken his diaper off. I just pulled his shirt up. I think you broke some records, dog. Or maybe there's nothing in the diaper because everything came out of your shirt. You seem very happy, though. Mommy's not happy about going inside. I need Daddy here right now. Holy sh! Subscribe now to never miss new episodes. Nappy Tabs are celebrity first-time parents. Check out the uncensored footage of how it all began. Out of shape and needing inspiration? Tune into AMRAP and meet Jacinto Bonilla, a CrossFitter and cancer survivor who's in the best shape of his life at 73. Check out Woman vs. Workout as we answer the age-old question, can a runway model be a Navy SEAL? It's finally here, Peter and Amy's first date. Find out if he got to first base. Want to tighten your tush? Your best body has the secrets you're looking for. Have you ever wondered if you could break your penis? You can! Watch Health Decoder to learn how.